Hey everyone, my name is Gabby, and this is Gabby's Guide to Surviving College. My biggest tip <laughs> is uh, to bring an umbrella, because the number of times that I've been caught in the rain on this campus is a little insane. Another essential when coming to college, which could be a little cliche, is just have an open mind. College is a new experience, and it's something that you haven't been through before. And I know for me, we have things like seminar and we have different instrument and vocal lessons and stuff as a music major. And sometimes it's hard to take that criticism, but bottom line, everyone at this school is really trying to help you improve your skills. And they really do want the best for you and they wanna see you succeed. Also, don't be afraid to allow yourself to grow and change as a person. You know, change is scary, but, by the end of your college experience, you're gonna be closer to the best version of yourself than you were when you started college. One of the easiest ways for me to connect with people was through social media. So I had a lot of group chats on Snapchat and Instagram that I was a part of, and I was able to meet people virtually and online before even coming to orientation. I was able to organize a day to go with people that I had become friends with online. I had those familiar names and faces ahead of the game. So I was already off to a great start as far as like meeting people went. And then those people knew people and we were all able to meet each other at orientation and through different activities during welcome week and that's the really cool thing about belmont is that they're super community oriented so there's a lot of different opportunities for you throughout the whole year really to meet new people and find out about the groups that you can get involved in on campus so don't worry you'll be able to find your people fairly soon good morning everyone um just finished my second 8 a.m Yes, I'm taking 8 a.m.s on both uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday. But it's all good. Um, today the weather is a lot nicer, so hopefully I'll be able to take you around campus and show you what it's like on a normal weather day. swipe your little school ID and then you walk in after you hear this lovely little sling and then when you walk in there's desserts on the left and then straight forward there's a salad slash sandwich station um, to the right there's a burger station and you can request things from the grill and they'll make it for you right then and there um, but they have burgers there every single day if you're not looking for anything specific if you just want something fast there's an entree station where they change the entrees out every single day there's usually a super long line because it's always really good um, there's a 360 station where they grill things right there in front of your face and it's so fun to watch. There's also, what's it called? The Simple Servings, which is where they have like, it's like grain bowls, allergy friendly, little eating area, vegan. So there's a lot of different options in the cab. I also forgot to mention this while I was sitting down, but they have live music here sometimes. They have students come and perform in bands and all that stuff, so it's very cool. We love the cap. Yeah, we've got these little cases with instruments and awards and records and all that fun stuff. But really, this campus is so gorgeous and now we're getting into a really quiet area, so I'm gonna be really quiet. <laughs> but this is like the Johnson is where the Curb College of Music Business and Entertainment is. And a lot of people come in here and they study at the tables out by the doors. There's also elevators and a parking garage under this building. So a lot of good stuff. Some classes happen in here too. But yeah, pretty building. Okay, so we're back in the dorm room after a long day of classes. And it's time for me to finally answer the age old question of how big are the dorm rooms? This is a very important question that you must know because when you're shopping for dorm stuff, you need to know what you have room for. There are nine different freshman dorms that you could live in when you first move in. Some of them are only female, some of them are only male. So a lot of these will have um, dressers, closets, 
wardrobes, depending on which building you're in specifically, it will have its own little thing. Um, the rooms that have bathrooms attached obviously have the whole bathroom, but the community style um, dorm rooms, they'll have like a sink and vanity in the room and then down the hall will be the bathrooms and stuff like that. Each room will have two beds, which are twin XL, so keep that in mind when you're buying all of your bedding. Um, and they will have a dresser for each person, a wardrobe for each person, or a closet. Um, and then they'll also have desks for each person with chairs. Um, and that's about it. Everything else is customizable. You can loft the beds if you want to, like mine is lofted right now. We're chilling out underneath my bed. Um, and if you do want to loft, you can talk to your RD or your RA when you move in and they can get you all squared away. If you don't want to do that, then that's fine too. Um, but that's the cool thing about all of our dorm rooms is that all of the furniture is movable. So you can really customize your space and make it your own when you move in, which is so nice. Um, if you want to look at the specifics for the dorm room that you are assigned when you move in, you can go to belmont.edu backslash reslife backslash communities backslash whatever dorm hall you've been assigned to. And you can scroll down and you can find the complex uh, floor plan and see like an actual layout of what your room will look like when you first walk in. Um, you can also look at the different bathroom specifics and room specifics for each room. Um, but I figured I'd just go ahead and give you the overall um, dimensions of the room so you know how to finish your shopping before you move in. And yeah, I love it here. It's amazing. <laughs> I really hope this helped.